YouTube. Welcome to. Welcome to. Vlog. Vlog. Number 50. Vlog level 15. 50. 50. 50. 50. Alright, what are we talking about today? Ants. Ants. And First, spiders. we're going to start out with our Campanata <laughs> SPP. Or SP. <laughs> they were in this container that me and Mikey made. This and one? I took a tube and put here a 3 8 tube into a half inch tube or 5 8 or whatever it is into Mikey's new container and I put lights around it to make them uncomfortable and they moved in here we have 19 female 19 uh, workers and one queen <clears throat> now before we go to that Mikey's going to tell you all about these ants yeah you got how many queens in here son oh uh, four four queens these are crazy ants they're the beat they got a lot of ants you ready Ready for me to drop a man one minute away now, daddy? Um, you can. I go he has elites, me. workers, and everything. Right there. Oh, right. Okay, let's see. I jump on the right part, right? Yes, you did. Whoa. They're flipping yeah. around. It's not really good to feed live because you see why a lot of ants are going to get killed. Something on fire ants, it would be different. Something they're, like they're, that. Uh, this is an epic battle. What do you think about that, Mike? <laughs> the the ants not go die. They some some uh, ants not, not go die. I bet on the ants. Oh, I'm betting on the ants too because their numbers outdo them. I bet on the ants. On the. And these are crazy oh. ants. They're so crazy, they're crazy over there. Over there for queens. Huh? They go crazy. Hey, wait. Those you put the weight for them, no. they're done. We're not transferring these yet. Right now we have oil around the edge of this, which is not. Hold on. Hold on. Put, put, put ones that are almost dead. Or no, they kill up pretty fast. Go ahead. Here, use your tweezers. Thank you. you get little tweezers, you're welcome, baby. That They can get out of here because they're very, very intelligent ants. But oh, you can see we put this blue stuff in here. One right there. And they have mixed it with whatever they mixed it with. Sand that was also in there and they're trying to build a bridge up. But me and Mikey are on top of them and keep uh, keep fighting them off. How many times a day do you go in there and look at them, Mikey? Right. One height. How many? One a day. Once yep. a day? I thought you did it more than that because I caught you yesterday doing it like five or six times. Oh yeah, we got a piece of apple in here. Um, you can put all these in there if you want to, son. Here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, these are very interesting uh, hobby for fathers and sons, or even fathers and daughters, or mothers and daughters. Jump weight. I love here. it. Uh, Wait, on top of the other one. Mikey was watching it's a YouTube a video one time. day about uh, Ants Canada. Go hurt this one. like, wow, daddy, we should get some ants. I, say, I, I don't hurt that one. I'm like, I don't want no ants, son. I don't like ants. Yes, hey, yeah. you'll love them, daddy. daddy. Hey, I, I don't have to hold that one. Next one thing day. I know, I'm loving ants with my son. Loving ants? I'm loving ants with my son. Check that out. Well, okay, hurt him a little bit. That one would be hurt. And I'll drop it when they're hurt. Yep. When they hurt that they're one. They're on it like Donkey Kong. Here, hold that. Look at that rolling and rolling. Some of them got hurt already. Grab, it. Grab that one. Oh yeah, they're hurting them and killing them and eating them. I'm holding them too for the ants. Here, put that in there. Yep, you're mashing it. Yeah. All right, yeah, keep them all right there. Get that other one. So I'm going for the head. Yep, grab that. Okay, you got it. All right, let's see. These are the crazy ants. I'm gonna show y'all a few, few more moments of this epic battle. One thing. The string. How to work? Oh. Camera yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to give the, everybody a good view, real quick. Daddy. Of the that's action. Daddy, that we dead, buddy. I don't know we dead. I wonder if we we'll get a, get a lot of hate for uh, feeding a live, freshly shed mealworm like uh, feeding Scar a rabbit. Because these mealworms are really cute and soft and 
squishy and all that stuff. <laughs> Mikey, what do you think about mealworms to scarred? <laughs> scarred don't eat mealworms. <laughs> that was crazy. What's, what do you think the difference is between feeding a rabbit to scarred to feeding a mealworm to an ant? Can't wait. I love it. We good to go. Yeah, but ants would eat, these ants would eat a rabbit, I'm sure. And have it crazy. Yes, it would be crazy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna move along yeah, for a minute. Because we got so much to talk and cover. I see I look in there. Yeah, you can be looking at them. We're gonna I'm gonna move them over here and you can watch Mikey'll watch them for hours and I'm sure you guys would too, but my camera won't film for hours, so we're gonna show y'all what we got going on here. On this container, it has little queen. bitty holes on the top. It has ant gel, which you can see through. Put your head down there, Mikey, so you can see through there. Yep. There's a little tunnel right here. You got that, Mikey. Going up. Tube coming out so they can dig and play. Right I'm here. Good to eat that tub right there. This whole piece comes gel. off of here. It has holes on top and bottom. They eat the gel too. These are the Campanatus SPP that me and Mikey got so much hate over because we dug them up out of the ground just before the entire ground was fixing to be ant poisoned. So we took a chance in deciding whether we were going to save their lives in an attempt to dig up the queen and we somehow miraculously did succeed and get the queen. And this is what we got right here. There's a little thing that holds water reservoir. It is. Here is a thing that holds honey water. And then we put a little piece of apple in there. <clears throat> and we kept me. them alive for how long? I don't know. Tell me, tell me how they got right there. How, Daddy? Through this. Oh, yeah. Let me show you. So everybody can see. This hole right here. Right at the tip of this. See this hole? See this hole? There's a staircase. There's a ladder right there and right there. So they step, step, and then they come up here, and they eat and drink, and then they go back down here. Soon they'll be going through this tunnel, and we'll give you all updates periodically while we're doing other reptile videos. And then, you can see up underneath there, <clears throat> you can see the honey water in their abdomens, and there's a queen in here somewhere. I don't really know which one the queen is. They did lay some eggs at one time. We'll be sitting down. Any, any, yep. any, any ant and they sitting down that hole. It was very hard to get these ants to transfer to this because this was such a well-made how, how thing a that we and the, how, how, how a fine hole that container, I, I like that, so I hold up sitting down that how I fine hole. Oh, yep. Hold yeah, well, back down. when we first caught them. Mm -hmm. Hold up sitting down. What do you think about this new container? Is it awesome or mm -hmm. what? Y'all leave in the comments below what y'all think about this. So uh, did put the comment. They did put the comment. Did tubes out here. Uh, uh, did tube right here. Yes, they they come in, they come through right here. Mm -hmm. They go up this tube. They fall over into here, and then they'll dig tunnels. They haven't got to that stage yet, but I'm and sure they, they and will. And they eat the blue type too. We only have 19 and did, a queen. Is the blue type good to for them to eat? I don't know if they eat it or just digging it, to be they honest. They dig in it, but maybe in their play. Well, maybe in dig tunnels, you're going to see, you'll see tunnels all over the place. They may be going to eat it too, you know? Yep. Maybe they do, they do. We, we will love it. Not, um, they're crazy, and not gonna even move along too, on the other things. Y'all, uh, we're also doing another, another thing. We're going to, uh, we're going to transfer Petropelma sesami. You got PSAS for short. These are our blue tarantulas. Um, I have to be very careful with them because I'm putting them into bigger enclosures. That I had our Pampa BDS SB Goliath tarantulas in at a different time when they were babies. But they need to get more uh, stuff, and we have to be careful with them because if they fall or get hurt, that's a serious loss. And now that told y'all before my dealer quit selling these and I can't get these at the awesome deal that I got before and uh, they're about 250 to 390 dollars a piece at this size right now everywhere I can find them so they're very awesome very uh, 
very expensive, very fast, and very fragile. That's a lot of berries. <laughs> a lot of berries, ain't it, son? What do you think about pieces? <laughs> Hopefully, we have a male and a female because this is growing a lot faster than this. Yes, I believe so. They're going to have their new enclosure that we hot glued the top of and the sides, except left this so we can retain some moisture in here. Really, Scar? What's he doing? Yeah, Scar just fell in the water. <laughs> he is pissing shitting everywhere. That's uh, becoming like a daily thing. <laughs> yeah, I was on it. I need that spray bottle. I like to pack this stuff like this. Yeah, I'm like, I don't have no water. So it's tight and, and you open it, yeah. Here, here. I like to pack this stuff. Here, move that container lid. Move that lid right there. Grab it. Grab it. I like to pack it down so they have. Move it sun a little bit. Um. That way it's a little bit uh, packed and they don't have to worry about stuff being all over their uh, thing. Hold on people, I'm sorry. I'm trying to film and do everything. It's take me a minute. You're going to have to hold this camera or something. Try to stay on the action. Okay, okay. and then they got a moist spot here. Cages are almost set up identically. Um, whoops. We're gonna put one here and two here. Hopefully it'll be a smooth, clean transfer. I also have them a little water bottle here. Now I'll just overflow. And get all this off here. Um, this is coconut fiber and uh, eco earth and uh, vermiculite mixture, like 10% vermiculite to 90% of the uh, other stuff. All right, here goes number one, people. Mikey, gonna put in here. do not hit, be nice. If it jumps on you, let daddy get it off. Yes, they're still a little bit small, but they're gonna be okay in here. Um, can you get up here real close so people can see? Um, let's see. I'm gonna use this thing. They don't like leaving their homes, which is gonna be fine because they're fixing. He's fixing to have a new home, and it's gonna be nice. And I'm gonna try to make a smooth transfer as best as I can. A paintbrush works the best for doing this with. And I've been dealing with tarantulas for a long, long time now, and that could have crushed him. A $200 spider, but there he is, people. I'm saying he, I don't know it's a he for a fact, but this is going to be a blue. You only got a heat or one more shed, and this is going to be solid blue. Petropelma says, I'm uh, that is absolutely amazing. That was a successful, almost unsuccessful, but it was a successful piece as transfer. And we'll see how they like that. Hopefully, they'll love it. We're gonna go to number two. It's number one piece as. Number two is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's a little bit smaller. Shouldn't really transfer it when it's a little bit smaller. These are burrowers, as you can tell. As you can see, they burrow down. Let me see here. I hate messing up their home so bad. They don't like it. As you can see there. I'm going to take some of this out of here. Put it in here actually. Get more like their home. This is number two. Just digging out some of this stuff. Oh nope! I'm trying to look for him. 
Oh, it's coming out. Here it comes, people. Whoops. Alright, but now he caved in. Whoops. Whoa. Wait, what do you do? Caved in? Yeah, he in? got caved in. Whoa, whoa. You don't want me. That's still a young in. sling. Huh. Where? Oh, hut, oh, hut. oh. We don't want I that to happen. Hold on, be still, be still. Don't don't freak out. Just be still. Good mommy. <laughs> That's a Petropelma side of mine. Mommy does. As y'all can see. You better be careful by mommy. Maybe uh maybe aggressive. I don't recommend handling them at all. Put the lid on it. Yep. I want to try to get him calm down where we can actually film him though a little bit. Oops, hold on baby, hold on baby. Well, get, yeah. get the camera up here close. This is a uh you can see how big it is. At the repelma says am I. Oh. See how fast they are? Right, very sure? fast, very fast, very flighty, very expensive, and maybe it's bitey, I don't know. On that one did not bite me because most tarantulas don't bite. <clears throat> That's successful. Now we've had these both the same time. This is why I think this is a female. Because of the size. And this is a male. Because of the size. They've ate the same amount of foods. We've had them at exactly the same time. And this one has quadrupled in size. Males grow faster than females. So what we're going to do is slow up the feeding on this one. Like feed it the very bare minimum that I can because it will mature out. And feed this one as much as it will possibly eat. To make this one hopefully outgrow that one. Which is going to be a task. But if I can pull it off, then I can keep him from maturing. If it is a male, I don't know. I might be wrong. But if it is, we can uh, keep this thing going and I'll be able to breed these two. And maybe offer a lot of my fans a uh, Petropelma Sazamai. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for Vlog 51. We will be talking about loving and feeding leopard geckos. Peace, love, happiness. And all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Hit Dad. the like button. Hit the like button with your pinky you toe. Or your forehead. Or your forehead. Uh. <laughs> Tendal family out.